Hello everyone, this is Russell from Doodaddle Widgetworks. I just wanted to uh, talk to you today about uh, Twisty360 and uh, walk you through a little bit of a demo. Let's get started. The website real quick. All right. So in this case, I have um, a series of photos, or images I should say, that are in sequence to rotate 360 degrees. And here are the image assets for that particular product. Let me enlarge this a bit. As you can see, it starts off with image 01. That's very important. You, your first image is going to be whatever file name you want, and then 01. And obviously, it's going to go sequentially, as you look down this list, sequentially to the last number, whatever it happens to be. And that last number can be up to 99 at this point. Here I have 54 images. The reason I have 54 is that I wanted a little bit of a smoother play as you're rotating it around. And I've done it with as little as 36 images. Basically, that's one degree for every um, photo. And that tends to work out just fine. But this has a few more, so it actually is a little bit smoother as you're rotating it. So that's the key there. Let's go into Adobe Muse here. I tried to make the functionality of Twisty360 very easy to use, and I didn't want a lot of individual file uploads. So I took the functionality or is already built into Muse, which is the add files for upload, and you use that for your images. So in this case, we would be going to add files to upload. And this is our demo file. So we have jar one through 54. We want all of them, right? So the quick and easy way. Select all, click open, and then once you've done that, that will automatically upload those files once you publish your page. A few things you're going to want to keep in mind. URL is going to be um, the website that it's going to. Whichever website that happens to be, you're uploading to that site. All of those images are going to go into your assets folder. So that's important to have on here. Um, keep in mind, I tend to put my URLs in at, just like that. I forget to uh, add this forward slash. And if you don't add that forward slash, it's not going to really recognize where your images are located. So you're definitely going to want to put that forward slash in. Our file name is jar. The .jpg and the 01 is going to be auto-populated by the uh, widget itself, and as well as all of the individual numbers that you're going to need sequentially in that order. Twisty 360, drag that onto the canvas. And as default, um, I have this image sequence already um, in the widget. So obviously the location is going to be from the jar, the 54. And if we preview this, since the, those images are already on the, the server, you will kind of get an idea. So now we have one that's a little smaller. And we have one that's a little bit larger. Now keep in mind, every once in a while, um, this may not load up properly, uh, at least in the preview and browser mode. Um, it, as long as you upload it to host, it should work just fine. But uh, sometimes in preview to browser mode, um, it doesn't catch uh, the jQuery that it, uh, this rotation is built off of. So in this instance, uh, it loaded up just fine. And 
and they rotate just great. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at any point in time. Um, my email address is russ at doodaddle.com. And hope to see you download it and uh, give it a shot and tell me what you think.